What's up, party people? My name is Daryl, and today I'm gonna show you all 10 amazing free plugins for WordPress. Now, as time goes on, new plugins come out, and there's a lot of new talent and development out there. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys 10 amazing plugins that I found and I use on my website. And I guarantee you, by the end of this video, you guys will probably use at least two, all right? At least two plugins. So let's go ahead and introduce you all to these plugins. Number one is OneSignal. Now, have you ever been to a website where that little note comes up saying, would you like push notifications? Well, this plugin will actually allow you to gather you know, people's information and you can actually send out push notifications out through people's browsers. Now, the great part about this plugin is that it's free and it converts 10 times better than email marketing. So right here, you guys can see my numbers or I have around 3,800 people. So whenever I actually send out a post or I create a new project, or if I add a new product to my e-commerce website, 3,800 people will be notified via browser and they can simply click on it and be directed to your website. So it's a very convenient way to get people to come to your website instead of having like an email campaign. You know, So uh, push notifications is kind of where it's going. Uh, email marketing is still amazing, but if you're not using push notifications on your website, get on it. It's a free plugin, it's amazing. I have a full tutorial on it and uh, you should have it on every single website. Next is Icegram. Now, Icegram will actually give you the ability to have pop-ups on your website, and it actually gives you the ability to have the pop-up bars also on top of your website. So right here, you guys can see I have this announcement bar right here. This was all done with the plugin. Now, it also creates pop-ups, subscriptions, uh, email notifications, uh, anything that you want, this plugin has. It's kind of like a 10 on all in one thing. So it's a very useful plugin. It gathers email addresses, and it has tons and tons of positive reviews. So you guys can see for yourself, it's called Icegram. So I highly recommend it. It's simply amazing. And let's talk about security. You know, security is probably one of the most important things on your website. And if you guys are not using all-in-one WP migration, then you're missing out because this plugin will actually just take a copy of your website, download it to your desktop, and then you can upload it immediately. In fact, it's the easiest plugin that I have found uh, for, um, you know, backups and everything else. And you guys can just look at the reviews right here. So we got, you know, 3,559 positive reviews uh, over almost 1 million active installs. So again, it's, it's something sort of amazing. It's a great free plugin and I highly recommend it because I use it and it's, it's, it's just amazing, okay? Uh, next is really simple SSL. Now, why is this so important? Well, Google just had a huge update in January and I'm sorry, last year and if you don't have an SSL on your website guess what happens people get that like do not go this is a virus porn website and people can get the wrong idea of your website so what this plugin does is that if you have an SSL and it's not working it will force the SSL to work so let's say you have an SSL and your hosting company is like we don't know what's wrong they're going to recommend you to install this plugin so it's called really simple SSL and again it will make sure that people do not get that like error uh you know, uh, they're trying to steal your stuff. This will actually uh, take that off so people can actually go to your website and not have to worry about all that crazy stuff. So again, it does require an SSL. It's not a free SSL, uh, but you guys can always use my hosting, siteground.com. Uh, they'll give you a free SSL. So I highly recommend to get a really simple SSL, especially if you have uh, like problems with that little green lock. Like right here, you guys can see this green lock. That's what it gives you. So people are like, oh, it's secure. and. It's like, it is, you know, it's it's just, you know, you go to websites, people like it, you know, so you just gotta get it, you know? Uh, so definitely check out Really Simple SSL. Next is WP Fastest Cache. So this is a caching plugin. If you guys are not caching your websites, shame on you because you should be because it makes your site much faster and this has over 500,000 active installs. Now I used to recommend that other one, it was like, I forgot, it was like WP something, but this plugin is actually, uh, I've used it, from its competitors and I've just seen amazing results. So WP Fastest Cache, it's a free caching plugin. Um, again, if you guys are using SiteGround though, they do give you a separate SiteGround uh, caching plugin. So if you guys, you know, you don't, you won't need this plugin if you're using SiteGround. But for those of you who aren't, uh, you might need to use this plugin. It's a free plugin, it's great, I love it. And I recommend it to all of my friends and clients because it is amazing. Next is WPS, WPS Hide Login. So what does that do? Well, when you're using WordPress, guys, unfortunately, you can just go to any website and just go to, are they using WordPress? Let's go ahead and type this in, wp-admin. Now, once I press enter, you can see that this says, this has been disabled. 
So this will basically not allow people to have access to that little login page because that's kind of freaky that anyone can go to your website and just kind of go to your, you know, your WP admin and, and guess your credentials, you know, and if they guess your credentials or if they know it or something like that, you're, you're going to be in trouble. You know, your site's going to be hacked. So uh, this plugin right here will actually make it so you can change it to anything that you would want. It's a free plugin and it's so easy to use. So all you have to do, I can actually show you guys really quickly. So I might, I changed mine to Dota 2. So mine's a video game. So it's, it's then it gives you the login, the login thing right there. So that's pretty helpful. And under my settings right here, under my general, it's really easy. Go down here and just change your permalink. So WPS hide login, and then you just change it to whatever you want, and then go to save changes, and voila, you have a amazing secret WP admin login, okay? So be sure to check out WPS hide login. Next is WP smush. So what this does is that it actually compresses all of your images and it gets rid of all of that extra space to make your site load faster. So it's very helpful and it actually has over 1 million active installs with 3,166 positive reviews. So for example, let's say you have like 20 megabytes of pictures. It will try and compress it as much as possible without losing resolution and quality to make it maybe around 10 megabytes. So uh, I get around like a 35% reduction on size, which increases loading time, or I'm sorry, decreases loading time. So I recommend WP Smush. It's an amazing plugin. Just try it out. It'll actually smush all of your images on your website all at one time. So it's it's amazing. It's it's simply amazing. Uh, next is Tidio Chats, and Tidio Chat is a live chat feature. So if you guys want live chat available on your website, Tidio Chat is a free service. And people can come to your website and they can start chatting. And uh, I think it's just a, a great service to have. So Tidio Chats, if you want that little box on the bottom right saying, hey, you know, how can I help you? Um, you know, I think TMD Hosting has that. Let's try that out. TMD Hosting. Not their affiliate, TMD Hosting. So when you go to this website, you see this little chat now box right here. So that's basically what it does. So it's, it's an amazing plugin. And uh, you can, you know, chat to the people right on your website. You can actually see also where they're going so it's really cool really helpful um it shows you like where they're where they are and once they're like on the sales page you can kind of like message them saying hey uh, do you want to buy that you know and they're like how do you know i was even here it's a really cool plugin and i highly recommend it and next is yoast of course guys now i know everyone recommends yoast but still yoast is probably one of the most required plugins out there it's just amazing it basically indexes your website for search engines like google yahoo and bing it tells people what your website is all about so for example, I have this browser open right here. And if you go to my website right here, or just type in Daryl Wilson, you see all this stuff right here. So this is exactly what Yoast does. It takes all that content and it puts it on the search engines and it makes it display how you want it to look. So it's a very helpful plugin. It helps for SEO, it's great. Uh, most people who are part of SEO companies, they all use Yoast. And of course that's just on page, just like 30% of SEO, but uh, 30% is still a big part of SEO, right? So it's a great uh, plugin. It's very helpful. I use it and it'll display your website on the search engines accordingly on how you want it. I have a full tutorial on Yoast as well. And I might be making a new one pretty soon because it's it's like a year and a half old. It's getting kind of old. And the best one I have for last is Facebook Messenger Live Chat. Now, before you guys think that this is just live chat, it's not. This plugin offers so much. In fact, I have another tutorial on this one as well. So for example, this plugin does various things. It does, it connects your Facebook Messenger with your fan page. It adds social icons. It adds this little chat now. It adds a store map so people can click on it right there and just find out where your store is. It has so many extra features in it. In fact, this is a free plugin. They do have a pro version, but I think the, pro, the, the free version is just good enough. So right here I have Facebook live chat and they also have like um, testimonials. They have just so much stuff that you guys can use. So right here they have a notification box. You can actually display the notification box on and go to save. They also have like a slide box, a sticker. Let's see a sticker right here. Let's use this one. I'll go ahead and turn it on and I'll save it. And I'll go ahead and use testimonial. And then I will activate the testimonial as well. All right, now I'll refresh the website. And now you guys are gonna see that I have this little thing right here. I have testimonials to the bottom left right here. 
and you know i just have like all this really cool stuff so i mean it's just it's simply amazing guys what this does so if you guys are interested in this plugin i highly recommend it because um it's a free plugin and you know today facebook is getting more and more popular so you kind of want to have to you know hop on board with the facebook fan page if you're not doing it just get it just do it you know just force yourself <laughs> okay so <clears throat> i hope you guys enjoy this video those are 10 really helpful plugins that i found now now we're having some honorable mentions. Now these plugins by default are probably, uh, I guess you can say essentials. While not top 10, they are probably the best solutions depending on what you're trying to do for your website. Now, one of them is Elementor. Elementor came out probably around two years ago. And ever since it's come out, guys, it has exploded because it is the best free page builder out there for WordPress, period. So if you're looking for a page builder for your website, the Elementor Page Builder makes making websites super easy. I have a tutorial on it. It is hands down one of the best page builders that's come out for WordPress that are free. Next is, of course, WooCommerce. If you guys have never heard about WooCommerce, well, WooCommerce is a plugin that gives you the ability to actually sell on your website with WordPress. And since it controls around 30% of all websites on the internet, it is a pretty reputable plugin and I have tons of tutorials on WooCommerce as well. So if you guys are planning to sell something on your website, WooCommerce is definitely uh, your best choice uh, in regards of selling stuff. So again, if you guys want to check out my tutorial on WooCommerce, I recommend it. The link is in the description below. And lastly, WordFence. WordFence is a great security plugin for WordPress. And it continually looks at your website, looking for malware, uh, malware injections, Trojans, all that stuff. It has over 2 million active installs with just tons of positive reviews. It can be a little heavy sometimes. I have seen it slow down other websites depending on what server they're on. Nonetheless, it's still just an amazing security plugin. And if you guys are looking for a security plugin, I definitely would recommend uh, checking out WordFront as well. Now, of course, there's some on this on this you know list that's not listed, like maybe WooCommerce or um, you know like a Contact Form Seven. But you know those are you know I think Contact Forms are becoming a little bit more outdated because a lot of the themes today are offering more Contact Forms, like uh, Divi. Divi has its own Contact Form now, and um, Themeify, Beaver Builder, uh, uh, Elementor, they all have their own contact forms. So you're kind of seeing less and less of, of contact forms in general. Um, WooCommerce is like a whole different ballpark. That's like if you're trying to sell something. So, um, you know, I think that is the reason why I didn't really mention it. And also this typing effect, if you guys are interested in it, I know it's not on my top 10 list, but <clears throat> you guys might want to know how I got this typing effect right here on my website. This is actually called typing effect and it's actually a plugin and you basically like type in like whatever text you want and it just kind of pops up and it's really cool. So be sure to check out those plugins. Okay guys. So I hope this video was helpful. I guarantee you guys are going to use one or two of those plugins. They're really good. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to share it make sure to comment and like and all that stuff. All right. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all later.